A talking hole maker? That's right. I'm a power drill. Do you know how many things are broken around the studio? Uh, just a few. This place is falling apart! But you can't fix it, can you? Sure I can. No, you can't! Because you don't know how to use me. Or me. Uh, yes, I do. I'm, I'm very handy. Everyone knows it. If you're so handy, what am I? You're a, you're a, a Haverson puller. That's not even a thing. <laughs> Two screwdrivers, we don't be misled. But which a witch is the Phillips head? I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I know nothing about tools. 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 No. Tools. Tools. No. Tools. No. Tools. Tools. No. Tools. 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 No, 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 tools! Oh, 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 thank goodness, it's just a dream. <laughs> hey, John, I'm uh, yeah. trying to fix some things around here. Do you think you can give me a hand with these tools? Ah! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> so no? Ribbons? No, I don't want to buy any ribbons. Oh, sorry. Come on, put, put the monocle away. Hey, everyone. My name is John. And I'm Brandon. And this is the So and So Show. That's right. Uh, things have gotten a little rough around here. Yeah. Yeah. After a few years of recording the show week after week, a couple of things are bound to fall through the cracks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Unfortunately, neither of us are great with fixing things. Uh, speak for yourself, I fixed the toaster. You did not fix the toaster. You tried to fix the toaster, now we have a blender. I have no idea how you did that. Whatever, at least now we have crispy smoothies. That's all I care about. Regardless, we need to fix things up around here, and that's what we got. No, I agree, I agree. Actually, I hired a contractor to fix all this stuff, and oh. I figured we could do two things at once. Oh, what's the other thing? Oh, well, now we have a guest for the show. Please welcome someone who knows stuff. They were supposed to be here. I wonder where they are. No one? Hey guys. Oh! Uh, Fred! Oh. oh! Sorry. You okay, John? I am, I am, I am, I am! Oh, okay. Fred. What are, what are you doing here, Fred? Well, I'm being handy. You're being handy? Are you the, are you the contractor that John hired? I don't know. Would you like to invite me to sit if you're gonna interview me? Did you hire Fred? He said he was handy. Handy, full of hand. All right, yeah, sure, Fred, come on and sit down. Have Ooh, a seat. You pulled out the nicest chair. Wow. Only chair. It's our only. We have, so tell everyone who, who you are and what you know. Wait a minute, no applause. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Mm -hmm. Hello, I am Fred, and I know a lot of things. Mm -hmm. Did you know the captain of Vermont is Monty Pillar? What? You you are the handyman that I hired to fix the studio. Have you done any work yet? Because the place is just falling apart. <laughs> falling apart. No, not yet. It is a process. Okay, and the first step of the process is? I'm glad you asked, Brandon. First off, do either of you know what this is? Of course. I've tried to look it up on the internet, but I don't have a computer, so it's just me looking over other people's shoulders while they look stuff up, and they haven't looked uh, this up yet okay. on the internets. Right, that's a hammer. Uh, wh what is that, can you say again? Hammer. Okay, okay, you say um, hammer. Got it. Fred is, Fred? Do you also know what this is? Because I think it might be an antenna. It gets the best AM, FM hits. <laughs> KKTY Radio. Uh huh. Fred. It's of the seventies, eighties, and nineties. Fred, is this your Fred? Is this your first contract job? Oh no! Come on, y'all know I got references. Didn't you even look at them on my Greg's List page when you hired me? I, I didn't. Okay, good, because most of the reviews are really bad. You probably wouldn't have hired me if you had read them. Okay, then why are you still doing this? Yeah. I don't want to give up. 
What's the typical day on the job like for you? I'm so glad you asked me, Brandon. One, I get there on time. Mm. Two, then ask the people if they can help me figure out what my tools do. Three, they get really mad after that and most people ask me to leave. Four, I feel that that is okay that they ask me that. I forgive them. Shouldn't, shouldn't, shouldn't they be the ones forgiving you? You, you? you don't know anything about the job you were hired to do. Yeah, but it's a really complicated job. I mean, uh, okay, I think we might be done here, Fred. Oh, great. That'll be $5,000. What? Whoa. $5? Uh, no, I will not pay you anything. You haven't done anything around here. Two hugs and we'll call it even. Okay. okay. I, I do Still love hugs. Still okay. Good deal. Two okay. All right. Oh. I think that was good. I feel refreshed and rejuvenated. That's great. All right. All right. I forgive you for yelling at me. Oh. Uh, before I go, does anybody know what this is called? Ow! It's a flashlight. It's used. It's thanks for that being. That is here. very helpful. Yeah, man. Thank you so thanks much. Thanks for being here. I am going to grab all my items. Okay. And um. Which way is the exit? Uh, the door is right there. Right that yeah, way. Be careful. Okay. And just what way? In. Okay. Towards you. Oh, and towards. Remember, no matter where you go or what you do, I will always be looking. <sighs> right this way. Sure. That's alarming. Well, that was helpful. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Uh, I don't think things around here are that bad. No. Oh. You want to move on? I do! All right. We'll try to find you another chair later. In the meantime, it's Bible story time with Kelly! Hey, you guys. Um, where's... Hey, down here, Kelly. Oh, hey, buddy. Are you okay? Yeah. Well, my chair is a different story. Well, luckily, you don't need a chair for what's next. What's that? Puppet Head Theater, baby! Our story today comes from the book of Matthew, and it's called The Parable of the Unmerciful Servant. It's a story Jesus told when he was asked, Lord, how many times should I forgive my brother or sister who sins against me? Up to seven times? Jesus answered, I tell you, not seven times, but 77 times. Then Jesus said, the kingdom of heaven is like a king Hello. who wanted to collect all the money his servants owed him. So the king called in one of his servants. Oh, unmerciful servant. Hello, unmerciful servant. Why are you calling me that? I'm sure it will be revealed by the end of the story. <laughs> now let's see, you owe me 10,000 bags of gold. Yeah. <laughs> I really got into collectibles. Check this one out. <laughs> oh yes, it's a little ice cream code. It's a toy code. Isn't it cute? Yes, yes, what will yes, they yes. think of next? Uh, <laughs> how fascinating. I would like you to pay back what you owe now. Uh, Short on cash? A little. Mm. <laughs> no biggie. <gasps> Everything you have and love must be sold until you pay me back. Oh, no. Please don't do this. I'll pay you back somehow, please. Give me time. I'll pay everything back. <laughs> when the king saw how miserable his servant was, he felt sorry for him. Unmerciful servant. <laughs> yes. I forgive you. Seriously? Yes, just, just don't go and do something unmerciful, okay? Oh. Unmerciful servant. No, no, of course not. <laughs> mm, LOL, no promises. What was that? Ah, nothing, nothing. Ah, yes, mother, you're coming. Did you hear her call me? After the king forgave his debt, the unmerciful servant saw someone who owed him some money. Hey, man. Hey. I heard you got your 10,000 bags of gold debt forgiven. That's really great. Yeah, I'm pretty excited. Yeah. Hey, speaking of which, don't you owe me some money? I do, but you know what? It's just a hundred pieces of silver. I mean, surely since you got your debt wiped away, you're willing to, you know, kind of pay it forward and do the same, right? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah! What? <laughs> just, just, you pay 
me back what you owe me! Uh, just give me time, I'll pay it back! Uh, you're going to jail! Uh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, take that! Word got back to the king what the unmerciful servant had done. Unmerciful servant, get in here! Hey, king, buddy! Hey, compadre, what's happening? You think I didn't hear what happened? Hmm? I forgave all that you owed because you begged me to. And you should have had mercy on others just as I had mercy on you. I see your point. But, I, uh, check this, I, I, I really needed that 100 in silver, though. Why? Because, hey, look, it's a cat. <laughs> that looks like a taco. A taco cat, it's the same backwards and forwards. I just, I just had to have it. <laughs> the king was so mad, he sent for the jailers to put the unmerciful servant in prison until he paid back everything he owed. What? No! Uh, at least I have my, my collectibles! <laughs> but why? Oh, my collectibles. <laughs> the end. So what did that story mean? Well, think of it this way. God is like the king in the story. He forgave us of a huge debt when he sent Jesus to give his life for our sins. And we are like the servant who was forgiven. So, how should we respond? By getting angry at others? Or holding grudges when we feel like we're owed something? Or by forgiving people the way God forgives us? Seems pretty simple to me. Back to you guys. Thanks, Kellen. Hey, that was some great acting, John. Well, thank you very much. Playing <laughs> foolish, short-sighted dudes is kind of my sweet spot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa! Reveal the question. Oh, uh, uh, the question of the day is, why does forgiveness matter? That's a great question. There, uh, well, there's a lot of reasons why it matters to me, mostly because I need it a lot. <laughs> like when I, I hire Fred to be a handyman, even though he obviously doesn't know anything about fixing the studio. Yeah, not smart. No. But you know what? I forgive you. Oh, <laughs> me too. Oh, you have got to stop doing that. Sorry, but I did fix your studio. Stop! Whoa! Whoa, wait, what happened? When did this happen? Yeah, I, I thought you didn't even know which tool did what. I don't! But I hired a group of other people to do it for me. I'm talking carpenters, plumbers, electricians. I even put the lights on a dimmer. Check it out! Wow. Hmm. That's... Can I have the dimmer? Oh, yeah, that's yours. Thank you. Thank you, For Fred. the studio. The lights. Yeah. If you need to. Sure, sure. Click the chicken. I'm John. I'm Brandon. And we'll see you next time on the So-and-So Show. Bye. Bye. I'm Fred. Here's all of the different things. This is the be careful stick. You use this when you want to tell other people to be careful. Oh, don't do that. Be careful over there. Oh. Watch out. Banana. Self-explanatory. Yeah. This is a hammer. Yay! Hey! What are you cheering about? Why do you guys do this? What could you possibly be cheering about? I just, cause I... I, I am out of here, not cool. No, wait, wait. No, no, I, I thought this we was were very good. encouraging you. You should, Fred. You, you should. No matter where hey, you go, hey, no matter what hey, you, you do, be careful. be looking. Hey, you be careful. You be careful. Oh, wait, be afraid. You left your banana. Yeah, your banana. <laughs>